So if you guys saw my video on board and batten, you would know that I had this huge blank uh, empty wall in the living room. So we're replacing our old 55 inch TV with this 86 inch. And this is the, the Sanus mount that we got for it. So first, just kind of unboxing it here. I'm taking the feet out. Um, I'm just following the little instructions they have in the box. You're supposed to put these pieces of styrofoam underneath the box and then lay the TV on top of those pieces of styrofoam. This is just to make sure you don't um, bend the screen or scratch the screen or anything. It needs to be raised up off the ground, really just to, so you have room to put the feet on. We're not putting the feet on, but we thought we might as well do it this way uh, just to ensure we don't damage the screen at all. Okay, now that we have the TV laid down and we can access the back of the TV, we'll get started on the bracket here. This is what it comes with, a little template. So we gotta attach the brackets to the back of the TV. We're gonna mount the wall plate and then we get the TV up there. This is what it comes with. Bunch of different screws. This is the wall plate. I love when instructions tell you not to stress out and also to relax. Sounds like we got something fun in store. So that's one side of the bracket. which of these screws we need to use. Uh, so we're gonna have to access the back of the TV here. Those are a little too long, so I'm going to try the ones that are a little bit shorter. Yeah, if I tighten that a little bit, it'll be perfect. It's like flush. Almost. Gonna go with those. Okay, now we're gonna install the brackets from the directions here. The um, little rings go on the bottom, and then this knob here goes on the outside. So this is the right side. And this one would be the left side. Just going off the directions here, you're supposed to align these tabs here with the bottom of the TV. This is a big TV, so we're just gonna try to pull them down as much as possible. That's pretty close. I think it's just so you can reach them. Uh, when you're in front of the TV after it's mounted. So, that there. Okay, now that we have 
the old TV off. We have to kind of figure out where we want it to be placed because this wall, I mean, it's huge and it's empty. So we kind of have to figure out the placement. Um, then we have this template. I'm gonna put this on the wall where we want the bracket to go. And that'll help uh, get the holes started and everything and then we'll put the bracket on. Even though, even though we already had a TV mounted there, I'm gonna use a stud finder, make sure we have the exact center to mount this. This is a massive TV. I'm gonna make sure we get it right in the center of the studs. I have this stud finder. I think I got it from Home Depot. It's pretty cool. It tells you the exact center of where a stud is. So where those lights are is exactly where the stud is. So you can get like the exact center. Pretty cool. some lines drawn here where the studs are. Um, I went to this website, this height finder, and it's telling us we should mount the thing like way down here, but obviously that's not an option because we have all this trim. So we're just going to mount it as low as we can, which is basically right on top of uh, these plugs here. That's as low as we can get it. So, just going to draw where we're gonna drill. And hopefully it looks good this high up. We got the bracket on there. Now the hard part, we got to pick this up, get these top clips here to attach to the top, and then the bottom should click on. All right, let's give it a try. So once it was up, I just had to make some minor adjustments. There's um, like a little bolt on the top of the brackets where you just use a hex wrench and you can just make uh, minor up and down adjustments to make sure it's level. Um, yeah, so this bracket, it can tilt left and right. It can also tilt up and down and it can come out uh, away from the wall. And it's kind of hard with a TV this big to to make the adjustments by yourself. Kind of need two people to, if you want to pull it away from the wall. But to tilt it back and forth, it's um, it's pretty easy. So now all that's left is to enjoy some movies. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.